Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anurag and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly dose of positivity, motivation and health. So today in the show, I'll be telling you about a few medical conditions uh, in a simple way. Alright, so these are some conditions that happens to a specific group of people, people who are involved in a certain kind of a profession. You know, it, it ranges from writers to musicians, singers, doctors and even typists. Some of these conditions are more prevalent in musicians, but but I'll tell you that you need to watch this, you know, it's the whole package. Right, so without further ado, let's get started. Vocal cord nodules. You know, inside your larynx, the voice box, there are those two flaps which vibrate and those are responsible for producing sound. So if you are someone who uses their voice a lot and by a lot I mean a lot you know for it's for people who use their voices just like uh, I mean singers and teachers coaches uh, maybe radio presenters you know every one of those people they are prone to developing these calluses like structures on your vocal cords and those are called vocal cord nodules Turns out that I, I am among the risk factor population as well. So if you're just like me who believes that you, know, you are at a risk for developing vocal cord nodules, then look out for symptoms like changes in vocal range, uh, change in your tonality, the pitch of the voice. Uh, maybe there's hoarseness in your voice that has developed recently. So look out for all these symptoms. And you know, those, those are what vocal cord nodules will do to your voice. Many of these famous singers uh, also have what vocal cord nodules, right? They undergo surgery for it. But there, is, there was one specific uh, individual, an artist, who was a legendary artist, who opted not to have his vocal cord nodules removed. So if you stick around till the end of the video, I will let you know about who that person is. Alright, so with that, let's go to number two. Carpal tunnel syndrome. So carpal tunnel syndrome is what happens when your median nerve, right, there's a nerve called a median nerve, which gets compressed in the carpal tunnel so basically the tunnel is made up of your ligaments in your hand in your wrist and the bones that occupy this area so the median nerve you know travels through the tunnel so if somehow that tunnel were to get compressed or the blood vessels that supply this nerve were to get compressed then it would cause a tingling sensation in your uh, thumb in your index finger and a little bit part of your uh, middle finger as well it can happen due to a lot of conditions like obesity uh, hypothyroidism diabetes you can have it acutely if uh, you somehow manage to uh, break your wrist bones and it also happens in pregnancy so symptoms you have to look out for are, are numbness and tingling sensation in your i mean um, hands and wrists all right so that is that and for the purposes of this video it is more common in people who do repeated activities with their fingers and their wrists right? especially guitarists and typists or people who operate heavy machinery so those are the people who are more prone to develop carpal tunnel syndrome focal hand dystonia that sounds heavy but don't you worry about it because i got you covered so simply put it is known as occupational cramps Right, so what happens is that there are these professions like doctors, surgeons, you know, dentists and guitarists and pianists, right, who use their hands a lot to do these fine motor movements. You know, they have to use these chords and they have to play all these keys. So those are some specialized motor functions that your hand performs. Basically, what happens is that when you're trying to do that intricate movement, that delicate movement, maybe you're trying to play that delicate solo that you just learned. But unfortunately, what will happen is that, you know, the hands, the fingers might just curl up or the fingers might get frozen. You know, you know, when you, if you're playing a melody of some sort in your guitar, then the fingers might get stuck in the strings. So these are the symptoms of focal hand dystonia. This does not happen all the time. It only happens when you're trying to do those delicate movements. So it could be a career ending kind of a condition for musicians. Right, but don't you worry because it's pretty rare and uh, turns out that researchers and doctors and scientists still don't know how it happens. So that was focal hand dystonia. Those were the three conditions that you should know of for today's video. So if you stuck around till the end of the video, if you watched it till here, then that's great. Right now I'm going to tell you about that artist which I talked about who did not have his vocal cord nodules removed. So that artist was no other than Freddie Mercury, the frontman of Queen. 
I was thinking of singing I want to break free and you know make a COVID reference here but I, I, I just got too shy to do it so I, I didn't, didn't think about doing it. So yeah, Freddie Mercury opted not to have his vocal cord nodules removed because he believed that those were his secret to hitting high notes. But what happened was that later in his life, those nodules gave him a lot of problem in his music career as well. So that was his choice. So yeah, that was a little bit of a fun fact about uh, vocal cord nodules. And yeah, that's about it for the video today. Thanks for watching. If you really like the video, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I come up with a lot of uh, these things uh, weekly. You know, because this is the channel where you come for positivity and motivation and health all in all right i'm here to give you that so yeah hit that subscribe button once again and make sure you ring that bell icon to stay notified with all the updates from the channel right now this is dr onurag the life doc signing off with a promise to meet you yet again in another video and until then you my friend stay happy stay positive and as always stay strong